So for the first step for your model print um, project with the printmaking aspect, you're going to have to choose from a variety of colored papers to be able to make your mono prints on. Um, you're going to have to choose from one side either warm or either cool colors and there's a pile of neutral colors over here that you could use in either side. So if I'm choosing to use um, the mono prints for the mood or the emotion that I'm trying to capture use from the cool colors, you're just going to pick Four, no more than five, somewhere between four and five papers that are cool colors or neutral to be able to make your prints. So I think I'm going to add um, like a gray in here, a couple different shades of gray for my neutral colors. So once you've picked out your five papers from the selection at the piles, you're going to take them back to your desk and on one side you're going to write your name and your mods and your row number please so that we can return these back to you really quick. All five of them in pencil and when you make your prints you're always going to be looking to place this paper with your name facing up onto your model print to transfer the ink so that your name doesn't end up being in the paint when you're done. So once you've selected all of your four to five colors, you're going to carefully keep those in your folder. Um, so that they're protected from getting any paint on them throughout this process. The next step is to grab um, a Ziploc bag gallon size and on the white part you're going to write in Sharpie marker your name and you're going to use one of the papers to place underneath and with your Sharpie marker put a little corner mark on the size of your paper. That's going to be really important as you're printing to be able to know where the boundaries of your paper are because we're going to want to add the paint beyond the edges to make your print. Once you put your name on this side, when you're printing, you're going to flip that upside down the back side is where you're going to add your paint and you're going to look for those marks while you're making your mono prints. You're going to use a styrofoam plate as your palette and what you want to do is make sure on the rim so that it doesn't go in your paint. Add your name and this is just going to hold your paint during class small amounts of whatever colors you're using while you're printing and then this is just going to go with the wet paint and everything um, on top of your cleaned off baggie at cleanup time back on the side countertop where I'll show you to store your stuff until the next day.